மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் ஹாய் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மாஸ் கீழப்பாவூர் சேனல் ஐ எம் டாக்டர் அருணா சண்முகவேல் லெட் எஸ் சி எ மோட்டிவேஷனல் கோட் எ பர்சன் ஹூ நெவர் மேட் அ மிஸ்டேக் நெவர் ட்ரைட் எனிதிங் நியூ In this video, we are going to learn about the origin, course and branches of facial artery. The facial artery is otherwise known as external maxillary artery. It is one of the anterior branches of external carotid artery given above the level of greater horn of II bone. It is given off from the external carotid artery within the carotid triangle. The artery runs upwards on the superior constrictor of pharynx deep to posterior belly of digastric and stylohyoid muscle. It then grooves the posterior aspect of submandibular salivary gland. It makes yes bend that is two loops one is winding down over the submandibular gland with convexity upwards and the other is winding up over the base of mandible with convexity downwards then it appears in the face by crossing the base of mandible at the antero inferior angle of masseter it runs upwards and forwards 1.5 cm lateral to the angle of mouth then runs deep to the nasolabial furrow finally it reaches the medial angle of eye the terminal part of the artery is called angular artery thus the facial artery has two parts one is cervical and the other is facial the facial part is tortuous in its course the branches from cervical part are ascending palatine artery that runs between styloglossus and stylopharyngeus and supplies soft palate palatine tonsil auditory tube and pharynx tonsillar artery that supplies palatine tonsil glandular branches that supply submandibular gland and submandibular lymph nodes submental artery that supplies mylohyoid and anterior belly of digastric this artery anastomoses with mylohyoid artery the branches from facial part are inferior labial artery to lower lip superior labial artery to upper lip and nose lateral nasal artery to nose muscular branches to muscles of facial expression the terminal part of the facial artery is angular artery angular artery supplies lacrimal sac and orbicularis oculi shall we discuss some anastomoses of branches of facial artery right the submental artery anastomoses with mylohyoid artery which is a branch of inferior alveolar artery inferior alveolar artery arises from the first part of maxillary artery thus facial and maxillary artery anastomose the labial branches of the facial artery of both sides communicate around the mouth and forms vascular ring this is the anastomosis between the external carotid arteries of both sides the lateral nasal branch of facial artery anastomoses with dorsal nasal branch of ophthalmic artery this is the site where external and internal carotid artery anastomose what is the surface anatomy of facial artery it is marked by connecting the following three points a point on the base of mandible at the anterior border of the masseter muscle second point 1.5 cm lateral to the angle of mouth third point a point at the medial angle of eye let us see some applied anatomy of facial artery during injury of face 
bleeding from the facial artery can be stopped by compressing the artery against the lower border of mandible the pulsation of the artery can be felt along the lower border of mandible near the anterior inferior angle of masseter hence the artery is known as anastatist artery in the lips branches of facial artery are found nearer to the mucous membrane than to the skin hence injuries caused by the teeth and the mucous membrane of the mouth may develop hidden hematomas shall we wind up the session with a quote a lion doesn't lose sleep over the opinion of sheep thank you for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon select all to get instant notification <laughs>